Playing VR games is fun, but if it puts you at risk of running into the wall or hitting TV, this is not fun. So what to do if your room is not as big as your love for VR games? Hi everyone, my name is Lena. Welcome to VR Fit Body channel, your channel about VR fitness. Welcome to my small room. This area is not only the place where I record my videos, but also live and, of course, exercise in VR. Unlike in virtual reality, where we enjoy spacious, beautiful environments, which we can change in just one click, in reality many of us meet hard truths. Sometimes our play area is small and we are limited in space, and in this case such games as Echo Arena or Space Pirate Arena is not a good choice. Unlike arcades or puzzles, VR fitness games require more space, because you will run in place, you will walk, you will squat, you will dance, and of course you will need more square feet. But does it mean your fitness is not for you if you have small room? Of course it doesn't. It just means you should be careful and it is better to opt for certain VR fitness games. So if you are thinking of using your Oculus Quest for fitness but you have small room, this video is for you because today we will learn how to play in a small area and we will check 5 VR fitness games that will make you sweat and they do work even if you play in a tiny bedroom. Let's get started! How small is small play area and what is the minimum space requirements in VR fitness? First, it is good to remember that your safe area parameters pretty much depend on your body parameters. If you are a tall male with long arms, of course, you will need more space than if you are a child. According to the Oculus guidelines, the very minimum safe area for an adult VR fitness player is 2 by 1.5 meters or 6.5 feet by 6.5 feet. If your space is not larger than that, it is better to stay in a stationary guardian mode, and this is enough to make the majority of basic fitness moves, such as squats, jumping, running in place, and swinging your arms. Here is a tip on how you can define minimum space requirements without a measuring tape. Extend your arms with the controllers, stand in the center of your play area, and spin in a full circle. If you can spin without touching anything, plus there is an extra 4 inches between your controllers and obstacles around, good news, you can play in a stationary guardian mode risk-free. If you want to exercise in room-scale guardian mode, Facebook recommends having more than 6.5 square feet. I would add, if you are going to perform lunges, jumps to the side, push-ups, rowing or dancing, it is better to have 10 by 10 feet. Watch your fitness games to choose for a small play area. The majority of these games can be played in a stationary guardian mode, which means they require at least 6.5 by 6.5 feet. Physicsar. Physicsar is one of my favorite VR fitness games. Yes, despite everything that happened, it is super intense and one of the reasons why I love it is that it doesn't have you walk a lot. From all three Fitixar studios, Boxing Heat and Dance, Boxing is the safest studio for a small play area, because it practically doesn't make you move your legs. You just stand in place, you punch the arms, you squat under the horizontal bars, and you duck to the side when you meet diagonal bars, that's all, and you will break a sweat. Heat Studio requires a little bit more space and it is not safe to play it in stationary mode, but if you have at least 7 by 7 feet area, you can switch to room scale and perform heat classes. Beat Saber Beat Saber is one of the most popular VR games and it is great for exercise. During a 1 hour workout in Beat Saber, you can burn around 400-500 calories an hour. And what is good for us, we can play it in our small rooms, cause the main type of movement you perform in Beat Saber is swinging your arms. You will also have to avoid the walls, but that is not a problem, because you can turn off the walls or obstacles in modifiers. Just make sure you don't play in a 360-degree mode. In this case, you will have to spin around and there is a high risk of getting traumas. To play safely in a 360-degree mode, I would advise having at least 10 by 10 feet play area. Synth Riders 
Among all VR fitness games, Synthriders remains the most favorite for many VR players. The game makes you move really a lot on expert and master levels, it is super customizable and what is a big plus for us is that we can play it in a stationary guardian mode. Like in Beat Saber, in Synth Riders, you will also have to dodge the walls flying on you, and the same as in Beat Saber, in Synth Riders you can turn them off. The same as in Beat Saber, Synth Riders also has 360 and 90 degree option, so don't forget to turn it off if you play in a stationary mode. Racket NX Racket NX is one of the best tennis VR fitness games that will help you burn a lot of calories. It is very replayable, the mechanics are impressive and I am going to make a review on it soon, so stay tuned. While Racket NX presents itself as a game for a small room, I would say it is still good to have at least 7 feet to enjoy it to the fullest. The game has one more useful tool. If you do not have enough space to make a maneuver with your arm to hit the ball, you can get your racquetball back with a quick press of the trigger button. Pistol Whip While this VR fitness game is one of the most intense, today it is at the end of this video, and this is because there are debates whether it is good for a stationary mode or not. The game makes you work actively not only with your arms, but also with your legs when you dodge the bullets, so there is a high risk you can step out of the safe area. However, many players consider the game good for a small game area, including me. The majority of the obstacles can be dodged if you just lean and you do not have to step. Just make sure you can extend and swing your arms at full length in any direction when you are shooting. One more piece of advice for those who play in a small play area. Use a yoga mat or a special virtual reality mat. Standing on the mat, it is easier to navigate and so you will always feel where your safe play area ends. And of course, please do not ignore Oculus Guardian. I know it can be very annoying when you see the Guardian warning, but try to be objective and honest in your estimation and do not draw the line outside the safe area. I hope this video answered some of your questions, if so, please support VRFitBody channel with your like. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to not miss all the upcoming content about VR fitness. Take care, exercise in VR, explore new VR games and see you soon. Bye-bye!